What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to my NFL regular season predictions. Week number eight is upon us, man. I can't believe it. We're, we're basically at the halfway point of the season already. It's crazy, but let's of course go ahead and take a look at last week, see how well we did, and boys, I am so happy to say it. We finally redeemed ourselves. You guys know the three weeks previous before this one, we did terrible, like really, really bad, and I'm upset because like it, it definitely ruined our record, but you know what? Week number seven, I got redemption, boys. You guys can see it. We ended up getting 10 games guessed correctly out of 14 so you know what I i'm feeling good about that we had a 10 and 4 record now on the other side you guys can see madden 20 they didn't do uh, as hot as we did they actually went right at 500 they got seven guests correctly seven guests incorrectly and uh you know on top of that you guys can see my ravens i, I just got to mention it you know we took down the seahawks I, I believed man i knew we could do it but that was a crazy good game man but you guys can see like i said had a great bounce back week finally getting 10 games guessed correctly and now that, that now puts our overall record me i'm currently sitting at now 62 43 and one madden 20 is sitting at 55 50 and one all right boys let's keep the ball rolling man hopefully here in week number eight we continue on get at least like you know 10 games guessed correctly again i don't want to have any more sightings of what happened in like weeks four through six because that was just that was terrible man but of course we're starting things off with thursday night football like you guys do know and we did have the washington redskins who were one and six going into this game taking on the minnesota vikings who have been killing it up until this point they were five and two going into this game and you guys are going to see my tweet on screen now and uh this was a, a pretty easy call here man i've actually been doing pretty good with my thursday night game so far i mean i i, I will say like the last three thursday games were pretty much like no brainer they were very easy picks but still like you guys know last year i was terrible with thursday picks but it's uh it's good to have like like basically three weeks in a row i think maybe four guessing the thursday night games correctly but i did pick the vikings like i said like it was pretty much a no-brainer i'm surprised that that game wasn't more of a blowout than what it was I'm, i can't believe they only won by 10 points but thankfully we are uh, starting off week number eight once again on a positive note so for week number eight, we only have two teams on a bye week this week, and it is my Baltimore Ravens. I don't get to watch my man Lamar Jackson go crazy on any NFL team this week, which sucks. I have to wait one more week. And we also have the Dallas Cowboys who are on a bye. So starting things off, our first game on Sunday, speaking of my man Lamar Jackson running all over those Seattle Seahawks, I guarantee you none of you guys believe my Ravens were going to win that game, man. And guess what? We showed up. I'm still excited about that win, man. It, it, was, it was a great game to watch. It was a lot of fun. And I definitely didn't think we were going to win by as many points points as we did anyways this week we have the seattle seahawks they are now sitting at five and two going to take on the atlanta falcons who are now sitting at one and six dude it's crazy to see the falcons like sitting at this point of the season with a one and six record like they're not usually this bad of a team but anyways i'm definitely going to be picking the seahawks for this game however i do know that you know the falcons offense they, they still got a good offense man but they just can't win games i don't know what it is but matt ryan potentially going to be out of this game i don't know the the current status on him i know he has the ankle problem but i don't know if he's actually going to play or not but nonetheless doesn't matter if matt ryan's playing i think the seahawks are going to get a win here you know obviously they lost last week to us i don't see them losing two weeks in a row dropping to five and three they're obviously still a really good team russell wilson basically like i'd say top three top five mvp candidate for the year and uh, I, I just don't see the seattle team going into a one and six falcons team and losing this next up we now have the denver broncos who are sitting at two and five they are going to take on the indianapolis colts who are five and two on their season i know everybody was definitely counting the colts out once andrew luck retired man but dude they're sitting at five and two jacoby percent he he's doing the job man he's getting it done and for this game i gotta roll with the team that's hot man and they're doing good at the point of the season i, I gotta be sticking with the colts for this game now for some reason like right now my gut is telling me to pick the broncos i, I really don't understand why but i'm not gonna be stupid here i'm gonna pick the favorite i'm gonna pick the better team i'm gonna pick the team that's been playing better they're, they're the home team in this situation everything adds up for the colts to win this game i mean do the broncos have a chance it is possible i mean they did just trade away basically their number one maybe number two receiver i don't know what sanders was con uh, considered but i don't know colts still have a pretty solid defense they got a great offensive line jacoby percent has been playing amazing i don't really see him losing to denver Ooh, next up we have a little bit of a, of a garbage game here sorry if you're a fan of the bucks or the titans but currently the tampa bay buccaneers they are sitting at two and four they are going to take on the tennessee titans who are now sitting at three and four getting that win with ryan Tannehill last week man definitely did not see that coming now this is a, a toss-up for me, man. I'm definitely not sold on which team I'm going to pick here, but I I'm I'm feeling like I should pick the Buccaneers here. I, I feel like that might not be the right call, but I don't know. I just... The Titans ain't that good of a team, man. I know that their defense is okay, but 
Does Ryan Tannehill just come in here and start winning games for the Titans? I, I just don't see it happening. I know the Buccaneers, they've been an on and off team, man. I mean, they'll, they'll lose games to the Giants and then they'll all of a sudden win a game against the Rams. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But here with this matchup, I don't know. I feel like Bruce Arians and the offense is going to get going against the Titans defense. And I, I feel like the defense for the Buccaneers is going to be able to stop the Titans offense because their offense isn't very good. I don't know. I just... Some's tell me the Buccaneers. Obviously, this game could go either way, and I'm not really sure which one to like really pick here. I'm not 100. I don't have 100% confidence in the Buccaneers, even though I'm picking them. But I guess I'll just roll with Tampa Bay for it. Oh boy. Next up, we've got the Arizona Cardinals, who are 3-3 and 1 now. Definitely having a nice little turnaround to their season after starting off pretty bad. They are going to take on the New Orleans Saints, who are now sitting at 6 and 1. And they are 5-0 with Teddy Bridgewater. Dude, I, I just, I don't understand. H how does Teddy Bridgewater come in for an injured Drew Brees? And on top of it, Alvin Kamara is out last week. And they beat the Bears defense at home. I just, if there was an ever a point for the Saints to lose a game, I thought for sure that was going to be last week, man. So you know what? I'm done picking against the Saints. I know one of you guys keep telling me to stop picking against the Saints, man. But I felt like the last two or three matchups, like, it, they could have lost it. But dude, I just, I don't understand. I, I just, I, I guess it's just like the, the coach. Coaches, it's just the players in general. I don't know what it is, man, but obviously the Saints are still a good team. So if they've been doing it against all these other teams and the Bears defense, I don't see how they're going to, you know, lose here to the Cardinals. So definitely going with New Orleans to win this game. And on top of that, I think Drew Brees might actually be back for this week. Man, it is still so crazy to me to see a team in my division, one that usually is like in contention for the playoffs, you know, not really there, but like kind of fighting for a wild card spot, really. The Cincinnati Bengals they're 0 and 7 man like it's it's crazy to me to see this they're pretty much their season's done obviously they're, there's pretty much no chance for them to make the playoffs i guess if they win out go 9 and 7 there, there could be a slim chance but obviously we, we know that's like shooting in the dark that's not going to happen this week they're playing against the los angeles rams they now find themselves at a 4 and 3 record and this should be an easy call definitely going with la they're the home team they're playing a winless Bengals team with an awful offensive line aaron donald's probably going to have eight sacks this game and I just, I really can't see the LA Rams blowing this game. Ooh, this should definitely be a pretty interesting matchup. We've got the Philadelphia Eagles who are now sitting at three and five. They are going to take on the Buffalo Bills who are sitting at five and one. And I know the Bills are definitely one of those teams that not a lot of people are talking about. And I mean, it's just because they really haven't played the best teams, man. I, I mean, I know they're five and one, like you got to give them credit. Like they're, they're a top team in the AFC right now with that record, but I just feel like they're not as good of a team as what their record shows. I don't know. Like, maybe we'll come back here, you know, week 14 and 15, and uh, maybe I could be biting my words right now, but I, I just don't see this continuing for the Bills. I don't know. I just, I know they have a great defense, but it, something just seems fishy to me. I, I don't know what it is. But for this game, though, I am going to say they finally lose a game. I'm going with the Eagles for this game here. I'm going to say they even up their record at 4-4. Four and four. It, I just, I don't see the Bills continuing to win and going 6-1. and one. It just, it doesn't make sense. Man, once again, these are two more teams that it's crazy to see them sitting at this point of the season, considering they were both in the playoffs last year. Now, we've got the LA Chargers sitting at 2-5. and five. They will be going to Chicago to take on the Bears. They are now sitting at 3-3 three and three on their season. And once again, this is another game where I'm just, I'm kind of on the fence, man. I can't really decide which team I want to pick to win here. I feel like either team could win, and I'm sure whichever team I pick, the other one's going to end up winning the game. But I, I feel like I'm just going to roll with Chicago, man. This is probably the last time I'm going with them. If they let me down here, once again, they're playing at home their defense is obviously still crazy good they're playing against a struggling chargers team I, I just i don't know i feel like it should be an easy win for the bears maybe not necessarily easy i know that their offense is still pretty bad but I, I i just gotta roll with chicago one more time man i mean just because of the fact of how good their defense is and they're playing at home that's the sole reason of why i'm picking them here next game up we have the new york giants they are now sitting at two and five they are going to take on the Detroit Lions, who are now sitting at 2-3-1 and one on their season. Now, the Lions, man, they were looking like a really good team, you know, the first three weeks of the season, starting off 2-0-1, oh, and, and then obviously almost beat the Chiefs. I think it was, what, was that week number four? But they've been struggling a little bit recently. They haven't been looking like themselves. Obviously, not every single game that they lost was their fault, but... I really want to pick Detroit to win this game, man, but I just don't see the NFC North being the greatest division in football, and every single team in that division just keeps winning and winning, and, you know, all teams are going to end up with eight wins and whatnot, and because of the fact that they've been struggling a bit recently, man, and I also think Saquon Barkley is back for this game, not 100% certain on that. I actually do think he is back. I'm not too sure. But with Saquon being back, uh, what I'm looking at right now, it says the Lions have the 31st ranked defense. So, I mean, like, with Saquon Barkley being back, 
you know, the Giants have been clicking a little bit more with Daniel Jones, I would like to say. I, I think I'll roll with the Giants for this game, man. I hope that one doesn't bite me. Next game up, we have the other New York team, the Jets. They are now sitting at 1-5 on their season. They are going to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. They are now 3-4. and four. I'm not going to lie, part of me kind of wants to pick the Jets. I don't really know why, but I'm going with the Jaguars. It just makes more sense. The Jags have a little bit of a better defense. You know, Gardner Minshew, he's actually been playing pretty well so far. And the Jets obviously are struggling. I mean, CJ Mosley, once again, having a, a groin injury, I believe. So I don't doubt he's playing this game. And the Jets offense just looks terrible. I mean, Le'Veon Bell, I, I love to see it, how he's having such a bad season because, you know, he was the crybaby that had to sit out for a whole year. And now look what's happening to him. And, you know, Sam Darnold, you know, he's struggling. He's been seeing ghosts, apparently, when he's playing. And um, I, I just feel like the Jaguars should be the team to win this game. Oh, man, this game is definitely going to be a good one. We've got the Carolina Panthers, who are now sitting at 4-2 and two on their season. What a turnaround they've had with the guy Kyle Allen. They are going to take on the undefeated San Francisco 49ers, man. Who would have thought right now that they would be sitting at 6-0? and oh? That defense is pretty good, man. Not going to lie. And... I'm not gonna lie, part of me kinda wants to pick the Panthers to get the upset here and finally ruin the undefeated season for the Niners, but I just can't do it. I I'm rolling with San Francisco. The defense is just way too good, and I, I, I just feel like they're gonna keep winning. Obviously, they just got the new receiver with Emmanuel Sanders. That should help out the offense a little bit, and I, I don't know. I just don't see this rookie quarterback, Kyle Allen, being able to put up a fight and beating that San Francisco defense. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely going with San Francisco here. Next game, we have the Oakland Raiders. They are now sitting at 3-3. Three three on their season they are going to travel to Houston to take on the Texans they are now sitting at four and three man I feel like we got quite a few games this week where I'm just I'm very undecided and I'm like not very confident in my picks I'm not gonna lie because I feel like a lot of these games either team could win but I guess that's the whole point of me doing this you know seeing if I can guess them correctly anyways I think I'm gonna roll with Houston for this game man I mean they, they've got the better team they, they should be the team that ends up winning this game here I mean obviously Deshaun Watson he's been playing fantastic I believe they just traded for a cornerback from the Raiders and so obviously this could be a little bit of a re revenge game for him so you know maybe he'll play well and you know on top of it Raiders they're, they're just not that good of a team Derek Carr's not a good quarterback I mean he looked stupid last week against Green Bay I mean the fact that he tried rushing for the touchdown and then he got the, the touchback because he fumbled the ball I mean he did it once in his career and it was like oops mistake but the, the fact that he did it a second time he's, he's just not a good QB man I, I'm sorry I, I just I don't like him anyways I think I'm gonna be rolling with the Texans for this one if there was ever a time when I could say I'm a New England Patriot Patriots fan this is the week I, I, I can't believe I just said that but we've got the Cleveland Browns who are two and four going to take on the undefeated New England Patriots now sitting at seven and oh now I know on social media I did see that like guys like Jarvis Landry were saying we're going into this game to beat New England it's like cool you guys got the confidence but they're, they're probably going to get blown out, and I hope it does happen. I mean, really, for the AFC North, I really think the Browns are the only competition at this point to take us out of the division or, you know, take the division away from us, even though they are now three games behind us. But uh, right now, this matchup against the Patriots going to New England, th there's no way that they win this game. Obviously, the Patriots are winning this. Man, why did Mahomes have to get hurt last week? Do you know how good of a battle this would have been if it was Rodgers versus Mahomes? I mean, s such unlucky timing, man. It's just, that it really sucks. Anyways, we've got the Green Bay Packers now 6-1 and one on their season. I mean, they are, they are a kick-ass team this year, man. I'm not going to lie. Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. Anyways, they're going to take on the Kansas City Chiefs without Mahomes. They are now 5-2 and two on their season. And obviously, I've got to roll with Green Bay here. If... Patrick Mahomes was playing definitely would pick the Chiefs 100% but I just don't see Matt Moore the backup QB this this guy that you know started for what the Dolphins a little bit last year and I mean he's he's, he's a backup QB I don't see him coming in here and being able to put up a win against the Packers I mean like I said if it was Mahomes definitely would pick the Chiefs but I just don't see the backup QB being able to get that job done and finally last but not least we have our Monday night football game We've got the Miami Dolphins now sitting at 0-6 on their season. They are going to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are now 2-4. I guess earlier I shouldn't have said that the Browns are the only competition. I, I kind of forgot that the Steelers do have two wins themselves. But uh, again, they're, they're another team. You know, they've got tons of injuries. They're, they're definitely not going to be in any contention for the playoffs. But as for this game, obviously picking the Steelers. I mean, this is going to be a garbage Monday night football game. It's definitely not going to be interesting. I'm not going to lie, dude. The NFL did an awful
awful job at scheduling primetime games this year. A lot of them have been terrible, but you know, with this game against a winless team like the Dolphins, definitely going to be going with Pittsburgh. Although I won't lie, it would be pretty funny if the Dolphins won. So guys, there you have it. There are my predictions for week number eight, but let's of course very quickly go over Madden 20's predictions and see who they are choosing to win this week's game. So starting things off with Thursday, they are going to be starting things off on a positive note, just like we are. They did end up picking the Vikings to beat the Redskins. Next up, we have the Seahawks and the Falcons. They're actually going with the Falcons to edge out the Seahawks. Wow. Okay, don't know if that's going to happen. We've got the Buccaneers and the Titans. They're going against us again. They're choosing the Titans to beat the Bucks here in this week. We've got the Cardinals and the Saints. They're choosing the Cardinals, bruh. Are, are you kidding me? Like, there, there's no way. There's no way. Next up, we've got the Bengals and the Rams. Very smartly, they are choosing the Rams to beat the Bengals here. Next up, Jets and Jaguars. They actually are going to be choosing the New York Jets to take down the Jaguars. I actually feel like that could happen, man. But hopefully, I'm the hopefully I'm the guy that's going to be right in this case. But Eagles and Bills. They actually are going to be choosing the Bills to continue to win, going six and one now on their season. That's crazy. Chargers and the Bears. They have the Bears not only winning, but they have them shutting out the Chargers. That would be crazy to see. Giants and Lions. They're going against us again, man. They are choosing Detroit to win. In this game Raiders and Texans finally siding with us now they will be choosing Houston to beat the Raiders we have the Panthers and the 49ers continuing on with their undefeated season they have the Niners still winning this game Browns and Patriots they've got Cleveland winning I, I don't even know what to sell what else to say after that we've got the Broncos and the Colts wait a minute this is way out of order okay uh we've got the Colts beating the Broncos here I just realized that why is that game out of order and then we've got the Packers and the Chiefs they do have the Chiefs beating the Packers without Patrick Mahomes okay and then the Dolphins and the Steelers they got the Dolphins getting their first win of the season and beating the Steelers Bro, uh, dude, EA's on some drugs or something, man. Okay, that is going to do it for week number eight of our predictions, man. I hope all of you guys did enjoy it, man. Enjoy some football because things are going by so quickly, man. We're at the halfway point of the season already, and it's crazy. But thank you guys all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, put a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.